a pet, where do you take them to the vet while you're looking at produce early? You have to figure out how to get it there. You have to grab, yeah. grab the conversation. That's why I said when I throw on a toy, we found it easier to use both goals mm -hmm. and then be able to be flexible to go either one and then build off either. I mean, if you have a house, then you can go to a dog. You know, so it was, or if you have a dog, is it tearing up your house? <laughs> you know, that's that's what we I, did. I took the other approach. I went I went for the questions first. What questions? The what do you think about the weather? Yep. You know, how you like the weather? Mm -hmm. This segued that into and walking the dog. Yeah. 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 As soon as I get home, my dog's gonna want to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Or like, man, it's just it was so it was too hot to take the dog out this summer. I gotta get the dog to the dog park. Is there a dog park around here? Mm -hmm. Kind of like incorporating both of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally cooling down, huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be well, that, 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 that Massachusetts. That Massachusetts. <laughs> 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 you just said some shit like that, and I would have laughed. You'd have heard me over here. Just, <laughs> I would say, oh, she is creepy. Let me get away. Well, I, I see. I see why you felt creepy. Uh, <laughs> I probably did it all wrong. I went the straight business approach, and I was like, "Well, excuse me, ma'am or sir, I'm, I'm I'm doing a survey, and I'd like to ask you a few questions." <laughs> oh, look at that! That's so right. did I take the thing? I, I knock it out. Was that a foul ball or? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I had to. I don't think there's no right or wrong answer. I think it's just fine anyway. Yeah, yeah. Did well, they I, respond to that? Absolutely. They sure absolutely. did. Okay. Because you could just better. be like, hey, I'm taking a sociology class. Got a couple mm -hmm. questions for you. Because there were times where me and me and her were together. And it was easier because we were together and getting that. Just either you know, she would lead in, and then I would, you know. It would, and then there were times where she was talking to all the older guys, and I was talking to all the older women. So it was just. <laughs> <laughs> just so you don't want to take me out, sir? You want to take me out? Sorry. I'd be like my husband <laughs> over there. Make up this whole ridiculous thing. Oh well, we just we never said, but they assumed, and yeah, I assumed correctly. Totally. <laughs> but I just I, like what we said before. I guess it's all in where you go because we had gone to Target and there's a lot of, and I don't want to assume that they're stay-at-home moms. However, it appears that way because they're at Target at 11 a.m. with their children and they're and like cell on their mm -hmm. cell phones and they're like, "Stop! Don't touch that! Put that down!" And now I had enough, and you're like. Not a good time to do it. <laughs> yeah. Get him a dog. But you know, then it's also kind of hard to like strike up a conversation about you know an animal when you're looking at you're like looking at clothes and you're like. And I tried to look at like sweaters and like segue into the weather thing and then take it to the dog, mm -hmm. but like to get I was like, Jesus, it's cooling down. I don't want to have to buy some sweaters, you know. And then the lady's like, Yep, and walks away. <laughs> Well, yes. That didn't go as planned. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be like, hey, wait a minute. Would you have to drive a white car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't answer oh, you. No, really? I might have followed somebody out of the. <laughs> well, I've been, been in jail. Like, <laughs> just wandering around the parking lot, wait for a white car to pull in and follow them. <laughs> <into> the <store. laughs> right? Oh. So, just to drive a white automobile. Do you have an I love my Yorkie stick? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Or, or or be stalking. <laughs> I saw you have a I love my Maltese on your white Camry. <laughs> you, you an animal? <laughs> Is that a gated community sticker you have? Do you live in a house? <laughs> or an apartment? Right. Like incorporate the whole thing. And where, where would that be, by the way? <laughs> so. Fun, sir? She's actually taking notes on her craziness right now. So this is this is what you're saying um, is is kind of what what this was intended to illustrate. Okay, it was intended to illustrate um, different places that you access people. Okay, so not just one place that you're, you're accessing. Um, it also is demonstrated to show that. The outreach is not the hard part. The engagement is the hard part. And the engagement piece is finding, because you know you have something specific to talk to these people about. With this particular exercise, it was um, animals or housing. You know, 
when we equate this to what we're doing in the community. Or. Or. Sorry. Or. Correct. Yes. Well, y'all did both. Hey, so we did both. both. They're just qualified. Or. Um, and. When you're out in the community, it, it's a, it, it, it's, and you're working with the, with the community organization, it, you're having these kind of conversations, you're having this kind of engagement about veterans. The familiarity that you have that is, that is very unique, the piece that I don't have, is that every one of you in here is a vet. That is your common denominator with your entire population that you will work with. And that is your, that is your lead in. That, that is, is what, whether you're, you start talking about, um, you engage a person because you see um, an identifying thing that says they served in the military. Whether that's a shirt, whether that's a tattoo, whether that's a haircut, whether it's the walk, okay? I mean, you know, you guys, you military, you, you have a certain, I mean, you can be picked out of a crowd. Not in a negative way, by any stretch of the imagination, but you have a certain, um, you can pick a social worker out of a crowd, okay? You can pick a military person out of the crowd. And that's your common denominator. That's what you're using to engage uh, people with, and that's where you can start your conversation. And that's where it's, so when you talk about, I felt like I was stalking, or I felt like I was being intrusive, or I felt like I was, um, you know, trying to, to find these questions or whatever. That, that's the hard part. But if you equate it to, this is a similarity that we have, and I'm interested in you because we have this common denominator, and hey, let me tell you what you may not know about, then, then you become excited, then you, then you, then you have that, that piece. Um, the other one, uh, the part that was brought up, I specifically chose 11 o'clock in the afternoon to 12 o'clock in the afternoon because I knew what population that was going to be. That was going to be your stay-at-home moms. It was not going to be uh, our stay-at-home parents, to be politically correct. It was going to be, um, or your retired individuals, okay? Um, I chose that because stay-at-home parents have a million things on their mind other than talking to somebody mm -hmm. in a store, okay? A retired individual doesn't want to do anything but talk to <laughs> somebody in the store. So I'm presenting you with these, these areas with this time frame knowing what that population is going to look like. Now equate that to veterans, okay? You guys can do everything by yourself. You don't ask for help. You're not interested in more information because you're told that you have to figure out how, you, you're, it's embedded in you, in the military, of you figure it out. Here's the problem, you figure it out. You don't necessarily have to go to somebody else for assistance. Or you may not feel like it's a problem and you don't need to go and ask for help. I wanted you to see that's very similar to the population that you're working with, with with military, okay? That is where it's hard to engage from a service perspective. Having a conversation about what you do and what you can offer that person is almost like talking to a single mom or family member, work stay at home mom or whatever, that's in the grocery store just trying to figure out what they're trying to do. That That is your barrier. Okay, do, do you kind of see how, how, how that's, that's where it's hard to engage? Because you guys figure it out on your own. Do you see what I mean? So this, this particular exercise, which I hope was fun, and I hope that it had you know, some value in, in, in kind of seeing, like for your own personal growth and development, kind of like areas like, okay, Maybe this part, I need to, to figure this part out when I'm doing this. Or maybe I should ask a question this way. Or is it the right way to say up front, hey, this is what I'm doing, and this is what I need to know. Are you happy to engage? Or I'm being covert, and I'm trying to get all this information without telling you why I'm getting this information. Is there a right way? Is there a wrong way? No. If the end result is that whatever technique you used made that individual that you are sitting there talking to feel comfortable, feel that you are being, um, that they could believe in you and believe in what you're presenting and that you could offer them something, whether that is a coordination of a service, whether that is a resource, 
or whether that's just a, hey, if you ever want to call us because you may need something, we're here. Whatever that is, then you've gotten your result. Okay? We're going to use what we've done, and I'm taking it outside of the box because I, I, I like metaphors. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I like metaphors. I like demonstrating that, um, that you're dealing with people. Whatever population, whatever organization you're with, you're dealing with people. And it's about the individual, the, the service provider, kind of growth and development of how they engage with those people and what the pitfalls or barriers may be. 